Hello everyone, Peppercorn82 Blue Peter here. Uh, before we start, I apologise for last video as um, the audio was delayed and I was quite quiet, interrupted by the steam sounds. I will try and fix that if it does happen in this video. But if you didn't watch part one, I will put a link in the description below to it. But last episode we shunted with uh, WPRL David or WRP, whichever one it is. Um, uh, WPRL David, the austerity, we should into these Pullmans into the platform and this um, Sterling single, which I will put a link in the description below for Caledonia Works and I'll put a link in the description for the route, it's Steam Sounds Free and it is free. Uh, okay, so we'll get started. Unfortunately, the doors don't open on the station, they only open at Top Ness, which is a bad thing, but yeah. As you might know, this is the wheel slip master with that single driving wheel. But um, we should depart now. Uh, I'll open the cylinder clock and I'll blow the whistle. Do a short one. I will really appreciate it if you do. I also be really thankful if you like. But in the comments, you can also put a suggestion for which locomotive to race or which locomotive you want me to drive on which route. If I don't have the locomotive or the route, I'll put that in the. Uh, I'll reply to you if I do have it or if I don't. And if I don't, I'll be the closest one to or an alternative one. But yeah, if you do, and I do. If you do put a suggestion on a do do that video, I will um, shout you out in that video. But yeah. So, after today, so on Thursday I'm going back to um, school. Um, so I'll, after then I'll probably only be uploading every Sunday until my next break. Um, and I think maybe next Sunday Sunday I'll do a a video with uh, on the red out these are roof of class 101 on the scenario. But yeah. But if we get up to hotness and it is the same amount of this and we will start again. If we get up to hotness and it's uh, I've been recording for the same time as part one, I will come to the end of part three, which I will release I will on Wednesday and release on Thursday, um, as I have some free time on Wednesday. But hopefully we might get all of it done in part two. But if not, I'll just record part three going to back down to Buck Presley on, um, on Wednesday and release on Thursday. I do like this locomotive. I'm, I'm going to say it, it, it's not the best in the world, but it's not the worst, it's okay, and it's a, uh, I like the pull-out regulator here, uh, the whistle here, how it's the little valve, or the dials, and the reverser down here, and the old, like, brake handle, and the sand and cylinder box, quite cool. So 
we're not that far, I've got Presley uh, Station is here this recording it, it might be like a um like i might upload two bits for parts of the recording it might crash halfway through or something so if that does happen what i'll do i'll just start recording from where it crashed and then i'll um, upload two videos which is part two but i i will apologize if it does So yeah, well, when I when I saw this, I think I was really young, and I, um, I still watched this tank in there, and I was saying in my head, oh look, no, down there lady. Because I always thought, until I um, got older then, I always thought that this locomotive, they were like, oh my god, look, they're based off Emily. But of course it was the opposite way around Emily was based on this locomotive. Do you know what locomotive they should add to train simulators though? Just even some stuff I don't know how to pronounce it, but they should add that because like the first locomotive. Thank you. 
went in a um, original Victorian coach on the uh, on this South Devon Railway. It's a third class Victorian coach. It was so so cool. But like it's it's it was like really fancy for what I would expect for especially Victorian third class. As of course people who didn't have a lot of money weren't treated like actual people back in the Victorian era. It was actually quite fancy. It had good seats for people street. What I also like is if you zoom in, this is from the exterior, look at the regulator there. That you move as I put power on, which is cool. That's the animated some of the interior from the outside. I don't think all of the cars are going to fit the platform, so I'll do what I can. I could do City of Truro on this route, or City of London there. Whichever city I would just do it. let it run down out without power. Then let me get into the platform and if we still got some power on our or put some brake on. So I know this platform not so here's normally a buffet car, signal box is normally there. These gates here, you've got the actual station here, and you would walk up, you would go in there, and the ticket office would be here. They have some book stands there. Okay, so we're pulling into the platform now. So should be good. Okay, so we're going seven. So it's 
seven miles an hour that is, so quite a little bit of braking force. Because I, 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 I'm not going to put the train or the locomotive itself in the platform. I'm going to make sure the front car, the front door of that first car is on like, the end of the platform, so we get as much as the carriages in as possible. There you go, pretend the doors are open. on, maybe bring it down to 9, 10 miles an hour. I still see, I oh, think so still see Stapleton over there. Mm. there was so I believe this sign here where my cursor is, is a whistle board. So, Breaking on now, not 32%, it's still on running. 55%, that's good. Put a little bit more on, shall we? 61. Yep. Now release the brakes all together. I like that dome there, how it's gold and how it's the way it's shaped.
I am one of those people that loves to go ham on the whistle. Okay, so, uh, you now I'm pulling in, so I'm going to apply a bit more brake so I, I don't have to slam on the brake. is that board there so I have room to reverse the train <coughs> excuse me uh, reverse the train in part three Okay, so we have arrived at Totnes, and I have been recording 30 minutes now, so I'm going to end part two here. 
thank you if people have watched us thank you so much for making it this far and if you want to subscribe feel free if you want to drop a like in there that's fine also if you want uh, me to drive other locomotives on this route or another route or suggest locomotives in a race please do in the comments i'll get back to you as soon as i can but thank you for watching and i will see you in part three thank you bye